Welcome back to Nerd Cheek as we talk about family safety and family tech tips for your family to be safe. The first thing I want to talk about is having something on your system, hardware and physical, that can protect your family at that level on your internet. So we'll dig down into settings for each device. And again, you can search Nerd Cheek for as I go through setting up Alexa settings, setting up Amazon settings, and free time and parental guides, setting up Apple settings. There's all kinds of settings that you can do. I show you how to do a lot of those, and there's so much more I can show, like setting up Google settings for Google Home. But for a device itself to be on your system at your house is a good first layer of protection. So I wanna share a couple of them that I can recommend um, from research and experience. So one of them is Gryphon. Gryphon has a smart mesh router in parental control system that's getting really great ratings and reviews online and a Guardian Advanced parental control system. It's an expandable mesh router and it lets fully, parents fully control what their kids do online. It's as cheap as 80 bucks. So it's got a lot of safe search built in and it's up to 1800 square foot coverage. Another one is Circle Home Plus. It's a great parental control device. It's by Circle Media Labs. It's, you know, you've got elevated status above anyone on your system to, to keep up with what your kids and family are doing. And then there's another one, Eero Prop Wi-Fi Parental Control System by Amazon. That's E-E-R-O, and that's by Amazon. It's also a great one. These mesh systems are awesome because it gives you Wi-Fi throughout your, your house as well as parental controls. And then of course my favorite is Bitdefender Box, which covers all your virus, your malware, your ransomware, and parental controls and controls the devices. These are all great choices. Having something at that level that's going to filter all the content that comes into your home is a big deal. Now we can drill into devices, we can drill into settings for Netflix and that kind of stuff, but at the very base level, having it at the very entry point is crucial for your family. So before you even drill down into devices, pick something like one of these I just suggested and get something over your entire network that's gonna protect your family. It's gonna filter what comes through. It's gonna keep porn out of their eyes and keep them from hearing and seeing the wrong things that are gonna harm their little lives, you know? So that's my encouragement, do that. The next thing is, before I go into any other videos, have a conversation with your kid. With any one of these things, be open with your kids and say, hey, if there's something you see or you experience on your devices that makes you uncomfortable, please come talk to me. I always wanna make sure you're okay. One of the lines we use in our family is this. I wanna teach you our lines. One of the lines we use parentally is, no one should ever feel unsafe. And if you feel uncomfortable or unsafe, you come to me. No one, no one in our family should feel unsafe. And so you give them that boundary and they know, oh my goodness, I can talk to my parents. Please come talk to me. Let me know if you feel unsafe. If there's anything that feels weird or makes you feel like hiding or someone says don't tell your parents or they make you feel like you can't tell me, you need to come tell me because I'm going to take care of you. They're not. They may be bad people. There are people out there that want to do bad things to you and you need to come tell me if you feel unsafe, no one should feel unsafe in my house. You got an open door with me. I don't care what time of day or night is you come to me. And then another best practice we have is we have our devices where they don't work overnight and they don't work during the day when they shouldn't. So you can turn devices off. We can talk about those settings later. They really lock things down inside of this device overarching for your house. Set it up where there's nighttime hours where your kids got to sleep. The internet shuts down for their devices and they cannot use it at night. Set up their devices so they can't do that. Have those parental controls so that you can monitor that screen time and at least stop them at night because the most of the damage is happening off your radar and all off on their own. Have an open door policy with, with computers. Don't be afraid to say, hey, if you're going to use that laptop or that computer, that door stays open. And I mean, guys, it's your house. These are your kids. They've been a gift to you. They've been given to you. And so you have a duty and a responsibility to be all up in their business because it's what's best for them. They need you involved. So at the very first, get something that parentally guides your entire system and know that you are 
If your kids act like they're put off right now when they're little because they don't get what they want or they don't see what they want, guess what? When they come back in quite a few years and their family's intact and they've got a good relationship and they don't have all the baggage that other people are getting, they're going to thank you for being present. So let's rise up and be present parents. Start with getting something for your house that filters the crap out. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for turning, tuning, tuning into Nerd Cheek. We got so much more that's going to help you with your family. And again, go get you something that works for you. We use Bitdefender Box. You may want to use one of these other ones. They're all high ranking. Have fun and be safe.